Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Haven't posted anything in a couple days, been pretty busy working on the car and other things, also battling the wind and the rain and the snow and the, the wet weather here. Um, it's been a real crazy weather day. We've had uh, wind gusts up to 65 miles an hour. That'll make your butt pucker. Anyhow, uh, we've been working on the car, doing some body work. We started working on the hood. Uh, there was a dent in the front of the hood from where uh, somebody uh, dented it in trying to get the hood open. I won't mention who my wife. Um, so it was kind of going to start as a practice project to get my bodywork skills back uh, in order. I um, figured it was a good place to start. And uh, just a simple pull with a, a stud gun, a unispotter, and uh, then some prime and paint. So uh, what we've got coming up is... Uh, is Kind of the steps in the process I, I recorded a lot of it um i edited out a lot of it because it's a lot of minutes of just sanding and 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 sanding and sanding and grinding and and just boring stuff so i, I try to get it um flowing along so i hope you follow along um at the end you'll get to see what it looks like and there's a surprise coming and i won't tell you what it is but uh it even surprised me a little bit so Enjoy the video, uh, click the like button at the end if you like it, and uh, be sure to hit subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and hit the notification bell so that you get notified of any new videos I post. So hang in there, um, and let's, uh, let's get rolling on this project. All right, we're gonna hit this with a little acetone just to take the oils and, and stuff off from my fingers. Um, so that works kind of grinding on a clear surface. What are you doing? All right, here goes nothing. The, the divot is right about there. And seems to be a little bit of a paint right there, but I, I don't want to grind too deep and poke a hole through the hood. So we'll see if we can just pull around it. Sorry about that, forgot to hit record again. We've put three um, studs in here so far. Number four. need one right here.
Okay, we got the grinding wheel back on the uh, grinder and we're gonna grind our uh, studs off.
have those off and I'm gonna let her cool down and uh, we'll apply some filler next. Thanks for hanging in there. This is uh, this has been really fun. I I, I kind of like this. Okay, we got the grinding wheel back on the uh, grinder and we're gonna grind our uh, studs off. cool down and uh, we'll apply some filler next okay we got the filler on well the first coat of filler um, no laughing I did my best um, we're gonna wait for this to cure it's probably got about another 10 minutes and then we're gonna sand her down with 80 grit and then we'll see where our low spots are and if we need to to um, fill any more okay this is after the sanding process um, you can see we're still a little low right in here, so we'll do another wipe coat this way and this way, you know, out probably about, you know, here, sand it down again. This is just, re this is really thin. You can see how thin it was. It just ghosted out and just really disappeared except for the low spot. So this isn't very thick. You can see that. There was a little high spot right there, so um, we get this all evened up, sanded down again until um, it's like just one smooth surface that looks, you know, kind of like like this with you know a nice um, ghosting pattern around it, so that it'll be a, a real seamless transition. Okay, folks, here's where we're at. Um, we got all our uh, filler work done, and then um, I used uh, some glazing putty over the top of it to fill in all the pinholes and the and the scratches. Um, then it's been blocked out to 400, and what we're going to do is we're going to clean this up and get a little primer on it, um, and then uh, that'll be it for just a little bit. Like I said, I'm not too concerned with the quality of this. We're just going to get it covered up. flash for a little bit. Alright, here we go with the second coat. Uh, it'll be a little bit thicker coat. And we'll probably do a third coat as well.
see so I'm gonna work on my homework, okay? Okay, here comes coat number three. All right, it's looking good. I mean, it's looking good for rattle cam primer. So we're gonna let that dry. I think I'm gonna do uh, one more coat and we're gonna call it good. Okay, folks, I hope that was more exciting than watching paint dry because, well, some of it was watching paint dry. Um, I tried to give a, a good uh, flow as to, as to how this went. It's impossible to do that. I mean, this was really like well over an hour's worth of raw video well actually it's probably more like an hour and a half worth of raw video trying to cut it down into you know 20 30 minutes um and actually show what the what the steps were um i never claimed to be a professional body guy never claimed to be a professional paint guy i'm learning as i go along watching a lot of youtube videos uh, relying on some old skills that, that I did probably 30 years ago um, doing some body work. Um, they didn't have the unispotters back then, I don't think, or they weren't too popular. They used to uh, drill holes and, and put screws in and, and hook a puller to them and pull it out that way, and then you braze the holes closed, and then you used body filler over the top of that. So this is a little different, and it was kind of fun. Anyhow, what... What happened tonight was I went out to start uh, throwing some color on the hood just to get the primer covered, just to make sure it wasn't looking so ugly. And um, I used wax and grease remover on the lower half of the hood. I used tack cloth on the lower half of the hood. And uh, I got the rattle can out and started spraying. Um, that was after blocking it all out up to 600. Because uh, I just... 400 just didn't seem to, to really cut it there. I could still see some of the 400 scratches. So I blocked it out to 600, wet sanded it with a spray bottle, um, and it got it looking good. So I hit it. I, I had some of this, um, where is it, Rust-Oleum acrylic lacquer in black from AutoZone. Uh, definitely not a color match for sure, but I, I just wanted some black paint just to go on the hood, just to make it like not stand out until I could get this hood uh, primed and painted. So anyhow, we came out tonight and we started hitting it with a rattle can. And you know what? It started to go on really good and looking really good. So I just kept going. And consequently, uh, now the entire hood is black. Um, yeah, sometimes I just don't know when to quit. Anyhow, uh, there's a couple problems with it. You'll see right off the bat. It's not the same color black. It doesn't match. Even though that's a, you know, that the original is a two-stage with a clear coat, and the clear coat's kind of, you know, kind of cloudy. Uh, definitely needs a buffing. I, I don't think the, the, the tones in the black would match anyhow. So, it's all going to get repainted. Um, the proper color, and then it's going to get clear coated. But I want you to notice a couple things. One is that where I prep the hood with you know wax and grease remover and a tack cloth that actually there's not a lot of trash in it there's some i mean granted it, i'm in the middle of a garage and i didn't really do a whole lot of dust control but uh, then when up here in the top of the hood you can see in the reflection you can see all the trash in it 
And that's why, because I didn't even tack cloth that, but I just kept going with the rattle can. The second thing to really realize, well, that I guess that was the second thing. The third thing is, you know, this came out really well for a rattle can. <laughs> I gotta say. So, um, I'm pretty pleased that my skills seem to still be there. I mean, I managed to make it look even halfway decent with it. If I had prepped the top of that hood, this would have been uh, a tough choice as to whether to keep this paint or not. So, um, that being said, what's going to happen in the future here um, is I'm going to block it down uh, with 600, the whole hood. Um, we'll prime it with a sandable primer, the whole hood. Um, and then we'll put a base and a clear coat on it and uh, we'll buff the rest of the car to, uh, to match. We'll also, you know, we'll use the right paint code for the car so that the paint color matches. Um, and then we'll, we'll buff it out. Um, you know, we'll also have to probably, you know, uh, color sand it, um, just to get the, the dust nibs out. I, I, I imagine we're, there's going to be trash in this, in this, uh, in this paint. It's just going to be the way it is. And, you know, you can deal with that. You can, you can color sand it and buff it and hopefully minimize it. Um, the goal is to just make the car look you know, halfway decent. And I can see I got some water on it and I kind of rubbed it off with my shirt sleeve. Anyhow, um, doesn't look too bad for a rattle can. And uh, we're going to leave it like that as we uh, start on the body work on the driver's rear. Um, once I get all the body work done, then we're going to get serious into the serious painting of this. And then once it's painted, man, it's, it's going up on the, on the sales block. And, um, uh, We'll sell it. Oh, uh, we've also got still have the tires in the alignment to do, but that's it. I promise, that's it. Um, anyhow, thanks for uh, sticking with me through this whole uh, whole thing. Um, I'll probably shoot some of the uh, the driver's rear body work because that's kind of interesting. It's it's going to involve a patch, uh, some some definite pulling out of the material to to make the body contours um, match. Um, and then some filler work on top of that. And then of course the paint work, but that's all coming up. So thanks for watching. I appreciate all you guys and all the comments and all the likes, uh, hit the subscribe button. If you're not already subscribed, I, I've got a whole whopping 19 subscribers. I'm hoping to make it to 25 by the end of February. So if you're watching, hit the subscribe button, please hit the like button. If you like what you see and, and hit the notification bell. Um, to get notified of my new new content when it comes out. Hang in there, stay safe, and uh, as the goon, goon Squad says, peace!